I've always been interested in ethical issues in medicine, and I've been a pediatrician for my whole professional life. And these issues arise every day with really almost every patient. That is ethical questions, and many of them genetic questions. The, the first committee I was ever on was a national committee to look into problems of newborn screening, some ethical issues with screening newborns for genetic conditions. And I think we uh, developed guidelines that became widely accepted for 30 or 40 years, so helping to develop policies that guide the conduct of other people in the field. Um, educating the public through the media, through interviews like this, um, and with uh, radio and television. Um, so, and then doing research that um, um, helps clarify issues or exp expand our understanding of it and contributing to knowledge that's helpful to others. Well, it seems like law enforcement um, and, and genetics are, are starting to come hand in hand. If I go years back when I first started law enforcement, we looked for uh, fingerprints and you did blood typing. And the blood typing was very inconclusive evidence um, with the genetics and, and DNA, knowing what you're uh, looking for in the DNA evidence, um, being able to collect the samples um, and handle the samples in, in the proper manner. Um, in a crime lab, um, technologists be, being able to, uh, to match that profile um, with a suspect you have is just huge for us. If, if you look at the, the television shows, uh, CSI and all the other crime shows that solve a crime in an hour, you know, not including commercials, um, a lot of it is, is really bizarre. Um, the DNA evidence is there, um, but it takes longer than an hour. You know, it takes months to receive your samples back, and, and you also have to uh, convince a jury that this isn't a television show that, that they're watching at a trial, that it's real life. Uh, the DNA forensics evidence is just uh, tops. Um, it's what we look for as, as investigators. Um, it's probably the, the most cost-effective piece of evidence that we can find, and it links some um, suspects to the crime. So these are just a few of the career options within the field of genetics. As medicine and computers continue to advance, the field of genetics will continue to expand, and you can be a part of it. For more information about the field of genetics, or career options, consider job shadowing, or ask your teacher to help you find a mentor. Also, don't forget to check the back page of the booklet that goes along with this video for a number of great websites and other suggestions on how to prepare for a career in genetics.